into the glass. One very long channel. Okay, do you there's see There's two of them. Yeah. There's yeah. two of them. You can hold it. And then actually there's two, two layers of glass to make that, and then there's going to be four layers of glass because there's going to be another layer uh -huh. in which we've got to have some valves and a pumping mechanism. And, and that then is the heart of the analyzer. And the sample, actually, these are little holes drilled into the top glass, and the sample actually gets injected into there. And as we play the electric current, it flows along, just by it just gets pulled along. And the amino acids are floating in there too, and they get pulled along. And they come out at different times because they have different charge and size. And, um, you know, we've labeled it with fluorescence. So we're using a laser. Laser's looking into that channel and picking it up and telling us which amino acids and what concentration. And so very, this very is sensitive. something that would be put on a rover this, this is the and taken to yeah, Mars. Yeah. Because that, that's the whole instrument. Is that funny little break off? To end. Now that each amino acid has a carboxylic group and an amine group, so like head to tail, and and so our proteins have, you know, there's 20 types, but they're all de every combination you can imagine, head to tail, and then that twists up and makes a little kind of knotted structure, and that's what a protein looks like. Okay. And then you could break that up into all its individual amino acids, and that's. Uh, well, they haven't found the protein, they found just the amino acids. Yeah. <laughs> you were probably easy in biology in school. Pardon? Biology class was easy for you in school and in chemistry class, I well, guess. Well, that's what I did at college. I did biochemistry. Uh -huh. But it was easy for you in high school. Oh, I like it, yeah. 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 I'm, not, I'm not so good at physics or math and all of that, so no. You're not I'm not his own. <laughs> Hi, can you show me your, your yeah, laboratory sure. you can, dish again? You can hold that. You want to take a picture? I've, I've got a little video running. It's hard to, um, certainly hard to, we have a hard time photographing it because the light reflects back. Yeah, I, I, I can see, uh, I've got a reflection of my camera more than anything That's else. That's right, it's very, very hard uh, against the dark background is yeah, what you I'm, really I'm using want. your shirt, actually. Yeah. So you were saying that the, the lines are etched in the glass. And yes, it's used a chemical, chemical etch on the... On the, make a pattern. So the pattern will block everything except that channel and then the chemical will etch into the glass and then you wash it away and then you put a plain wafer on top. So now you have a channel that's 20 microns wide, half a micron deep. Okay. You know what a micron? A micron is a millionth of a meter. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's how wide it is and um, the sample is flowing. It's, a, it's called a electrophoresis because you're putting electric current across here. And anything with electric charge, like amino acids or salts, can actually flow. It will flow along there, in one end and out the other. And as it's flowing, we're going to detect what's inside that sample. It's fantastic. Yeah. And you said this is part of the it's design lab for on a chip. Uh, um, going to Titan? Yeah, that's right. The liquid lakes of Titan. When would that be? happening? Oh, probably 2020, 20, <laughs> 2020, 2025. Okay. Uh, I don't remember how many years it takes to get to Titan. You know how it takes one year to get to Mars. Whatever we launch takes like 11 months to get to Mars. But Titan's going to take like eight years to get there. Right. It's kind of crazy.